Hi! In this video I'm going to show you how I painted this floral painting that's also part of my garden collection. So first off I started out with the background and I used just a little bit of um, titanium white and olive green and I think just what was left on my palette like was a little bit of um, ultramarine blue because my reference had like a blurry kind of background um, on the top uh, on the bottom right corner so I started to um, paint that for the rest of the background I used um, burnt umber and titanium white and then I started to yeah just blend all of that together so I have like a really nice smooth background and I also used my brush set um, for that painting and just one thing about the brush set, it's only available for one other week, so if you want to get it, like, make sure to do it now, otherwise maybe the campaign isn't even going to yeah, get supported fully. So ne next thing I used was um, the smaller round brush and I started out with all of the background leaves and stems of the flowers and yeah, quickly I... Um, changed the brush up and used the rigger brush because it's just like perfect for small lines and I have more control over them with that. The color I mixed was um, just a mixture of olive green and to like tie it in with the background a bit I used more of the burnt amber and ultramarine blue. And then I just went on like I usually do with my painting so I start out with a darker green and work my way up to a lighter one with each layer so I just added in more of the olive green and a bit more white. It's so much fun like painting all of the details. Um, yeah, I think I overdid it a bit but yeah I had fun that's the main point. Um, then I started adding um, a few more details, but this time with a bit of yellow ochre. And for the background, because um, the flowers are like yellow orangeish, I thought that like lilac would make a nice little combination. And the um, reference also had a bit of lilac, so I really wanted to incorporate that. Incorporate that. <laughs> um, yeah. I also used my rigger brush for that and just like make it, made a few dots and then I started out with the inside of the flowers in a really like dark greenish brown and for the color of the flowers I used um, I think it was like mass orange and yeah, just mix in with the yellow primary yellow I built up the layers of the flowers as well, so I just started out with a darker color and got lighter um, after a few layers, so no, so I don't have only one color but like a few more so I can really yeah get some depth in there. And that stage of painting I don't really like care what the inside of the flowers look like it's just like to have a um, focus point so I know where the flower should be and at the end I'm going to add more details to make it more yeah a bit more realistic Like as you can tell like the most used brush is honestly my rigger brush because I just love it for everything and I always feel like I'm in perfect control. So with these flowers I just use the rigger brush and with each um, paint stroke I also did like one leaf of the flowers because it has the perfect size and yeah 
as I said I'm in full control. If you feel like your yellow or orange isn't like picking up, maybe it's like not opaque enough, you can always add in a bit of titanium white or any white um, yeah, to make it more opaque. White is usually more opaque than yellow is. So at this point I'm just going around and add more details that's going to bring the painting together and just yeah, add more depth and just makes it a bit more interesting. These flowers had like tiny little dots in the middle, that's what I did with the same color that I used for the flower leaves and I think like what made that painting like the painting it is. <laughs> is um, all of the movement um, of the stems and yeah how like squiggly squiggly like <laughs> i hope you know what i mean yeah but like how squiggly the lines are and all of the um, stems of the flowers i think that's like really what is that's the thing that like brings it all together i guess and what i think like really adds something to a painting is when you do leaves after you're done with the flowers and some of the leaves or the stems they're like overlapping and also going like over your flowers that makes it really re realistic because it's, it looks like more wild and naturally grown instead of just like perfectly yeah so make sure the flowers overlap and some stems overlap and just like make it a bit more messy and that's it i really hope you like it going to remove the tape now as you can hear <laughs> and sign my name and also the name of the painting and yeah okay bye